opportunity to share a few things with you this afternoon. Uh, we would have preferred, and, and after you hear me talk, you probably would have preferred, to have heard from some of the folks from Michigan. However, they're having a corporate level leadership retreat today. So we could not uh, secure one of them to come and talk with you. But uh, obviously they are all on board with things that we're doing in Brentwood County Schools. And some of the things I'll talk about with you today, if you are in a district or a county that has a Michelin presence there, some of these things will be familiar to you. Because you have some of them occurring in schools in your district. One of the things that we want to make sure comes out of this presentation, and it's one of the things that we are working to try to develop with other business and industry in our county, sometimes perhaps in the joining area, as you know, employment, I think the point was already made very eloquently by Mayor Danner earlier today, there's not a county line to employment whether you're working at BMW or Michelin or a smaller business or industry, people travel all over the upstate, particularly along the 10 at the top, the I-85 corridor. So there's not really a line. That line gets very blurred. So you may well want to develop partnerships, which don't you do at our expense with folks in Wendy County. We're looking to try to snag partners and participants in Spartanburg and Anderson and Pickens and Independent. But one of the features of this is it is a structured program. Michelin has a tremendous commitment to education. They refer to it as the Michelin Challenge for Education. Again, under the leadership of the previous Michelin North American CEO, Dick Wilkerson, and has continued as a primary commitment to part of itself, the current Michelin North America CEO. We're going to show you a video that captures several different aspects of this. Again, it is a structure approach. There's folks in Michelin that take charge of the Michelin side and they pair off the people in our schools and at the district level to put these things in place. And that's one of the things that we're trying to encourage with other business and industry in our community. Whether it is a business that employs 20 or 22,000, that structured approach can be in place in either set. In some cases, perhaps it's with the assistance of somebody that did it, with Big Brooks Smith, a very technical person, or Cookie Hanna, a community collaboration person, or a smaller business might be able to help that or pairing with other similar businesses. But what you're going to see here is some elementary presence on the part of Michelin uh, and then up through the secondary. <coughs> You might think, well, in elementary school, you're going to see mentors from Michigan that work with students on reading and they're their lunch buddies. How does that help business and industry? Well, it's very obvious how it helps education, I think. They help tutor, they show an interest in students. Everybody does better when someone's showing an interest in what they do and asking them how they're progressing, how they're doing an algebra test for years a different business and industry. Those jobs, careers, and occupations that you all as business and industry want to get students interested in, here's your foot in the door when you're in the third, fourth, and fifth row. Because you'll hear the division of talk about what they do at work. Because not only have we got to have the opportunities and expand the on the job opportunities with things like apprenticeships and work based programs. Capacity? I'll tell you right now, we got, we got a lot of unused capacity. We have probably the largest welding classroom <coughs> in a secondary school setting in the state of South Carolina within a mile of where we are right now, probably Monster Street. We've got to get people in there. I'm fortunate to also be on the Greenville Tech area. And in listening to Dr. Miller and the River Ted talk, they've got capacity there in shock areas that's currently underutilized because of not having the interest. You've got to sell people, parents, on the 
job opportunities that don't require three years but do require significant specialized training and a high level of motivation, intelligence, and ability. I want to share with you now some of the things that the Michelin Challenge is doing for us. When a crew from Michelin rolls into Greenville County Schools, they get the wheels turning in these little brains. My name is Mr. Jamie. Do you remember me from last time? And where do I work? Do you remember where I work? Yeah. At Michelin. What do we make at Michelin? We make the tires. Our kids get to know them, we get to know them, and they become part of our classroom, and we just enjoy it. Vanessa. Vanessa? Vanessa? Yeah. A company investing its financial resources and human capital. And that's one of the reasons that Michelin supports challenge education so that these kids can dream big and realize their potential. The Michelin Greenville County Schools Partnership began as a grassroots effort in 2009 with Michelin employees collecting money to fund a reading program at East North Street Academy. They raised $2,500 in just three days. Volunteers began with a K-4 class, visiting monthly to read a story and do an activity. The books are then sent home with students. One of the reasons why we have so much passion is we've read to our children and can't imagine not having books in the home to be able to do that. And the pumpkin began to grow. See, the little pumpkin is very little right now. Oh, no! Now in year six at East North, the Challenge Reading Program is fully funded by Michelin, with 125 volunteers reaching every grade level. Mr. Rainhead, I, I work at Michelin in the logistics department, and what that, what that means is that I get the tires to the customer. For three years, Sam Rainey has been part of Michelin's mentoring program in Greenville County Schools, adopting a child each year for tutoring and special attention. The four through five. Sam says he relates to the children here, and they relate to him. Well, the, the background of um, growing up in poverty, um, not really knowing whether or not you're going to have utilities, whether it's the lights or your water, and just to know that someone cares. Positive role models making a difference for inner city children. At Ellen Woodside Elementary, Michelin means a lunch date. Nearly 30 volunteers come to the cafeteria once a week to share a meal with their lunch buddy. Sometimes he can't come because he has meetings and stuff, and when that happens, I'm kind of sad. But I really look forward to next Wednesday for him to come. I always feel bad when I have to travel, but it's always fun to come back and show him pictures of Japan or any place that I've been traveling. It's fun to come back and. I'll try to make it up and attend on a different day or, you know, flex, very flexible schedule. I love hanging out with uh, lunch buddies and stuff and <clears throat> playing games. That's just really fun. That's the dream of my life. Sharing a meal, sharing stories, making students more successful. Machine Tool Technology, a new program in its first semester at Golden Strip Career Center. These students at Golden Strip are potential recruits for Michelin. This semester, the company is partnering with Greenville County Schools for career centers to recruit tech scholars. Tech scholars are students who study electrical engineering or mechatronics at technical college. Their tuition, books, and fees are fully paid by Michelin. <coughs> students are also employed 20 hours a week at a Michelin plant, being paid 12 to 15 dollars an hour. You give that student the opportunity to work in the plant while they're in school. They gain hands-on experience and knowledge through working with technicians that have a lot of years of experience. And that is a huge benefit for them understanding what they're being taught in the technical college. What about Victor, Michaela, and Eva? It's a partnership of giving and receiving. I, I actually receive more than I give. Thank you. They become part of our classroom, and we just enjoy it. Michelin and Greenville County Schools partnering for excellence. That's a pretty good idea. 
Okay, very good. Let's um, get right into the question component. Um, who's the what? Is that John this time? Or? Okay. Well, what I really like is the kid that was eating the cheeseburger. Well, it's but not as nearly as good as blood. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Um, no, I mean, I like the whole initiative. I know what Michelin has done with schools in different counties that they have plans and, and um, I just think that's a wonderful initiative and that's what we need to do. I worked at Tri-County Technical College for eight years and I worked very closely with Michelin on the Michelin Scholars Program and that is the way to do it. You get the kids when they're in high school, in the career center and then you, they move into the technical college, Michelin will pay the tuition, they'll give them a job 20 hours a week and then if they complete coursework, you know, they'll be hired when they get out and, and the average wage that we did, which was about $50,000 a year, so you're talking about no debt, um, a $50,000 a year job, they're 20 years old, that's, uh, they don't really get any better than that. So that's what I like, but I like what Michelin is doing with the school district. Very good, okay, who wondered this time? Are you wondering? Yeah. 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 Generate our own 
apprenticeship opportunities, which to me are both opportunities and examples. Okay, uh, other questions? Anything? Anybody on Twitter got a question? <coughs> yep, we're seeing that Superintendent Royster is showing. Uh, I can't read it, but it's up there. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, thank you. Thank you all.